We're all familiar with stories of sailors of old who loved their grog and she shanties. But have you ever wondered what would happen if the Navy banned its sailors from having access to alcohol? Well, back on July 1st, 1914, temperance movement supporter and infamous buzzkill, then Navy Secretary Josephus Daniels implemented General Order Number 99. The use or introduction for drinking purposes of alcoholic liquors on board any naval vessel or within any navy yard or station is strictly prohibited and commanding officers will be held directly responsible for the enforcement of this order. Back in the day, the U.S. Navy honored the tradition of giving their sailors a daily ration of grog, which started out as half a pint of rum, but later became an old American whiskey. The ration was eliminated during the Civil War, but sailors were still allowed to keep their own stores. When Daniels instituted the ban, U.S. ships all over the world moved to comply in one last blowout party. Ships held banquets, theme parties, and some even had funeral processions for their departed friend, Mr. Booze. Pictures of these parties are hard to find, partly because cameras were rare in 1914, but we can assume it looked something like this. To the break of dawn, yo! <laughs> The Navy banned alcohol for six years until Congress repealed prohibition and President Jimmy Carter's Secretary of the Navy, Edward Hidalgo, took it a step further by allowing sailors two beers a day if they'd been at sea 45 days or more. Thank you, Mr. Hidalgo. Like, share, and comment below. Service members definitely know how to have a good time. So, tell us some of your favorite party stories from your service. I got a few. <laughs>